Thank you so much, Mindy, and thank you everyone for joining the session today. Um, it's really nice to meet everyone here. Um, and thanks, Mindy, for giving my introduction, but I would like to say a few more words around it before we start the presentation. Um, so my journey started um, as a Java developer <laughs> a decade ago. And uh, I was working with uh, IBM uh, for Lenovo client. They were going through the transformation. Back then, um, I got interested into the transformation because um, I was seeing some challenges in my project because of waterfill way of working. Uh, we keep on adding buffer in the estimates and telling the client like we will deliver in two months, then delivery was late you know, all the challenges of traditional project management. And when I learned about Agile, it made so much sense to me. I'm like, I got so fascinated that I started learning and became a scrum master. And then from last more than seven years, I have been working as Agile coach. So back then when I started my Agile journey, um, there were uh, many people who did not know about Agile. It was new to them and it was new to me as well. And we were trying to learn or build our knowledge around Agile frameworks, mindset, behaviors. Along the line, um, many people um, actually started learning about Agile based on our own experiences um, we are coming up with an, our own definition of agile so if i talk to 10 people they all explain agile in very different ways um, so now uh, recently um, i was talking to a few uh, agilists in in my company and we were just discussing oh my God, it is becoming more and more challenging to do agile transformation because now most of the people claim that they know agile, but uh, it's full of so much of myths or misconception. That's how this topic came into picture. And um, being a science student, um, I need logical reason of everything. So, that's how um, I keep learning about neuroscience and how neuroscience or neuroplasticity really um, impact how people take change, how we actually behave or how we are um, reacting to the change which comes into our way. So now I would like to start my topic, uh, which is about unlearning, because I believe only learning is not beneficial. Sometimes we, it's better to unlearn some of our behaviors which are not uh, serving our purpose anymore and start our knowledge from the clean slate so that our brain gets more space to learn new things. So let me share my presentation. So this is about me. Feel free to connect me on LinkedIn or go to my website. Um, I'm always open to have more discussion and brainstorming about this topic. I'm so much passionate to understand and learn more about human behavior. So um, I think this year, 2021 is very exciting for all of us. We are celebrating 20 years of Agile Manifesto. So 20 years ago, um, as you all might know that in 2001, um, the formal Agile Manifesto came into picture. Back then, um, the authors also didn't know that how it's going to be so impactful in people's life going forward. 
uh, but it was quite exciting to see the overwhelming response um, in 2001, two, three, where people started uh, using those principles and values from Agile Manifesto. And along the way, um, we saw some success. Uh, some organizations, they started using Agile. So there were some successes, um, but uh, along the way, uh, we saw some failures as well. <laughs> That's part of the journey. We also see a hybrid approach because at the time of transformation, um, it takes time to move from one point to another point. And sometimes we see organizations are more in the hybrid mode. Um, there is nothing wrong about it. The only thing is that we start where we are and we try to continuously improve um, in, um, in a regular basis. And we also learned so many things. So even if the manifesto has not changed in last 20 years, it's the same. The application of its understanding varies from place to place. And I have been working with Agile software development for more than a decade. During this time, um, as an Agile coach, I have witnessed many organizations using Agility and all implementing it differently. So um, I have been experiencing a trend of working with people who claim to know Agile, but actually they have some wrong impression of it. So for example, uh, running a sprints under fixed budget, fixed scope, fixed timeline project. So where is the flexibility? Agile means adaptiveness, being flexible um, and uh, being people oriented. <laughs> but if the focus is on reporting, where the people orientation come into picture. Mm -hmm.